toxic talk, toxic talk, toxic talk. This is a different toxic talk. <laughs> This is a toxic talk where whenever I know I will be doing, but I'm here with the lovely Tosh. Hello. You know what I said? This is her second time around here, and mm -hmm. this is live from my bedroom. Wow, festive. Right? That that sounds good. You in my bedroom? That that's, that sounds like a vibe to me. Yeah, you know. I, I think we we'll take a take a shot to that. I feel you like you, you in know. my bedroom. That's. I mean, I'm just sitting on your bed. Who, who knows where the night will go? Right. I'll just, you know, after we take the shots and stuff, you know, I just get back in my car and I drive home. But let's vibe, though. Let's have, let's talk. This is what we're let's doing. Let's talk. All right. Mm -hmm. Go. That's that shot thing that I for me, though. Actually, that was smooth. What yeah. was that? Take it there. Mm. Yeah. That was coming, smooth. Coming to a, a shelf near you very, yeah. very soon. Oh, okay. No, we kind of... Done with the white rum thing now, the straight Ooh. tequila where I drink, you know? And not the big house of tequila, when I mean Casamigos, goes I mean tequila. That's all we're drinking. Yeah. You know that? Yeah. It's a little harsh. So, what's up with you? How, how, how your life been going? You know, my life been good. Mm. I've been getting food out to exotic places like Bangladesh. Like Bangladesh. To watch, to watch cricket and such. You like cricket? Actually, no, I don't. Mm. Don't come for me. No, I won't say I don't like the sport. I just don't quite understand it. It kind of bores me, but you know, big up to our West Indies team. Mm -hmm. Big up to Chris Gale. Mm -hmm. Big up to Chris Gale. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so, what about like, you didn't meet nobody yet? <laughs> Why is that always your point of reference? Like Because it's just like, all right, man, I'll be honest with you. Every time I'm still like an attractive girl who don't have a man or a dep on this, single journey, the celibacy journey is like, you are the problem. Whoa, 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 whoa. You know, I thought that you were like growing and changing. I realized you're just really still toxic. And that's fine. Yeah, I'm just happy that you know who you are. But I, I would like to, you to answer though. Like, don't you think you're the problem at this point? If you, I don't even I know. Mean, Do you have somebody now? Mm. Like the last time. You know, we've had this discussion. When? <laughs> when have we? You're funny. Am I the problem? I could be. Um, I don't believe I am. I don't believe I even have a problem. So you're perfect. No, I'm not perfect. Uh, not at all. I don't think any of us are perfect. But I think... I think I'm perfect. Well, okay. In God's eyes, for sure. In my eyes as well. In many people's eyes. I'm... Who are the many people? I couldn't name names, but it's not their interview. Okay, all right. Hmm. All right, well, I digress. Um, I believe at this point in my life, and it's something I encourage. First of all, I'm a hopeless romantic. I want love through and through. I want a wholesome love. But after I took some time from dating, I was celibate for a couple of years, all of that, when I got back into the dating space, for me, I wanted to pace myself. So if I was talking to somebody before I run and say, yo, this is my man, and I want to know, post you all over my Instagram, like, there is a vetting process. You know, because niggas won't, they will embarrass you. They're going to do one thing, it's that. So I think we're in a time where because the relationships, like the dynamic of relationships have changed and so many things are changing, I think both men and women should take their time to vet the person that they're talking to and just be truthful with yourself. Like if you are not in the space for that person to be here forever, but they're a person that's nice for right now, you could enjoy that, you know? Mm. So my thing is just to be open, but don't trick yourself the second you meet somebody and get involved with them, oh, this is my man or this is my wife. No, it's no, not. So I don't I like though, I like the girl, I said them something. As they meet me, them just say, yeah, man, you may look fine. I like when girls tell me, say them pray for me. Somebody ever tell you that before? Yes, I actually have yeah, heard that. Yeah, I think And like, I can't yeah. wait to meet the man that I felt like, yo, this is the one I prayed for. I can't say that. God, 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 God um, sent me to you, but you don't know. <laughs> you act like you're blind, so. Wow. But, but, but guess what's something, though? You were celibate for how, how long? Oh, God, it's like, why do we have to? Why do you always? Your selective hearing is crazy. It's not. Honestly, a couple of years, though, I did that. And um, What was that for you? I feel that's negativity, by the way. Negativity? Yeah. 
Um, no, I think it was something that uh, I just wasn't interested at that point. Like, that just wasn't my focus. Okay, let's break it down. Uh, some women can get physically involved and it's just a vibe. And then there are some idiots like myself that want to feel connected and, like, be in love with the person. Right? So... For me, I felt like I needed to step away from anything dealing with a relationship, with a physical, even just flirting, to just delve deep into myself and deal with me and my shit. Because when you get into relationships, different relationships, you kind of... You kind of have baggage too. And you also pick up your own toxic traits on the way. Mm. You know, whether it was a coping mechanism that you had at that time to deal with that relationship, you picked up some kind of weird, faulty ways. So... Even a relationship done, you have to say, okay, I need to be accountable. Like, what could I have done better? And you have to sit with yourself and deal with your shit. In that time, I didn't want to dot you up that with, like, bringing on a man. Because dealing with somebody, for me, is something that can consume me. Like, my strength is how I love, but it's also my weakness. So I know I can't just jump into something. Like, me, I have to take my time. Well, I may have different my fuss. Me, my, me to I, I mean, we're going to take it back to why you've been divorced twice. You see, I like that divorced twice. I'm just day, saying, you know? I'm just saying. I'm going to like that something. I'm day, just you know? saying, you are oh. with just jumping through the window, which it works for certain things and certain times that after a while you can't, you have to take your time and pace. But then I say, like, yeah, I say, like, say, my marriage I'm never lasts sometimes. Oh, I'm to you. But your marriage didn't last. That's why but you I just saw it go. All right, so question. So the person who, who get divorced 20 years mm -hmm. versus the person who get divorced in a two years are two different people? No, hear what I'm saying. I just see them No, hear what I'm saying. Hear what I'm saying. We have to think of the variables, okay? Mm -hmm. I have to think of the mere fact that you've been divorced twice mm -hmm. and you're very young. <sighs> Not a gray hair in sight. If you look good. Right? And so I'm just saying there's nothing wrong with your situation. It happened. Mm -hmm. But you just said someone like you move fast. And I'm just saying, yeah, you fast, you, you go fast. Because we have to deal with the no. No, yeah, you can deal Tomorrow with the no. Tomorrow and I promise. You know the, you know the story about the, the, the turtle and what was it? Was the rabbit? The, no. But the content of the story was slow and steady wins the race. There's nothing wrong with pacing. Bolt in the race. What? Bolt in the race. Bolt win the race. Bolt in the race. Okay. Bolt in all the race then. Okay. I mean, I don't really have a comeback for that right now. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is that in your situation, for Bolt's situation, his 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 going fast made sense, right? Mm -hmm. He's a he's a record holder. Mm -hmm. For you going fast, your records is that you're divorced twice. But that's just me, though. I'm an anomaly. What I'm saying is that it's not working for you. What I'm saying is that you could probably switch it up. What I'm saying is that I understand that going fast is what you did, but it didn't work in the past. We could just switch it up. We could just break the pattern, you know. Break every chain. Break every <laughs> chain. So, so what worked for you? I just told you. I was like you. I don't. So, I jump all right, so no, first. So no, y'all go slow and steady? Yeah, for me, it's a slow and steady thing. For We we talking for a while before I say, yeah, that's my boyfriend. What's See, a while? What? Give me a time. Like, if, if I'm on the say, yo, all right, Tash, we've been seeing each other consistently for, for six months. months. No, I don't. You have to go six months. A few months. All right. So, so where do you feel me up on then? I don't That's know. You enough. talking like? Do you, you talking about like we meet today, we elope next week? But in my feet, is that what you're on? I could tell that's what you're no, on. Exactly, I could tell that's yeah, what you're that's on. Yeah, that's what you're on. You know, I'm not like you still. Yeah, but you want to elope next week. That's how you do it. I'm not like you need somebody today, you and you'll fall in love and elope next week. I, I just saw it go because love is a feeling. I'm gonna feel a feeling. Then I just feel a feeling that feelings oh, are, feelings are fleeting. And I saw it go. Yes, feelings are fleeting. I'm one for, I'm one for embrace. Sometimes, that it, sometimes you know, your feelings can be confusing. It's a, it's a stimulus. Sometimes your feelings could be genuine. Sometimes it's your demons recognizing theirs. Sometimes it's a trauma bond. Sometimes it's just attraction. Sometimes it's just sexual chemistry. You don't know until you give it time. No, I'm gonna. You I'm saw gonna, this I'm person the first though. time. You you got this feeling whole time. I'm gonna have sex with though. Huh? I'm, I'm weird. I'm have sex. We're not going to get into that conversation. We did this the last time. We had that conversation the last time. You had people coming for me on social media because I said what I said. And I still Wait, say what I again. said. Wait, I'm not go back to that. No, I'm not going to go back to that. I was saying that I do not believe if you are if you are in a place as a woman looking yeah, for love that, yeah, that, that you're supposed yeah. to write. Yeah, not what I said. Don't listen to her. Ladies, if you don't want to fuck, fuck, no. Hey. Yeah? Tomorrow mm -hmm. is not promise. You're right. Get that nut off today. Mm -hmm. You got it. All right? Mm-hmm. But really and truly, here well, I understand what you say about the fast and versus the slow and steady thing. And you have a point. 
But I hate when people try to make this divorce thing, this big thing. It's not a big thing, you know. It's not a breakup either. You think, you think this is a boyfriend and girlfriend thing? It is. The only thing is that the government knows about fuck. That's the only difference. That's the only difference. I don't know if you take marriage serious than that, but that's really what it is. Just that the government no no say, yo, them you tell them real, them they for real. That's all it means. Case on point, look at Mendisi and, and Yandy. You familiar with them? Why are we talking about them? Were well, you familiar with them, right? Yes, I do. They had a ceremony, but they weren't married. Because if, them, if she, she didn't marry him, her money would have tied up with fee money. And him did owe the government. So she never married him. So it's really a, a business. Marriage is really a business. It's a business, but it's also something sacred in, in, in the eyes of God. For me. Enough I things like in the eyes of God. I would like my union to be blessed. And I don't want to be jumping in and out of, for me, you know, for my wedding, it's going to be a deal, honey. Like, I want to have on a big, nice white dress. I want to change into my next dress for when I go inside for the reception. Like, I want all of my 24 cousins I, I as my that. bridesmaids. Like, I want this to be fabulous. I'm not about to do it two, three, four, five times. Whenever I do it, <laughs> no time. No, based on your time stamp. On... Do you have your quotas about this, me, boy, man? I think I'm a joke thing, man. When, but, when, but when the real thing go on, then they had a mock wedding, you know, you have mock exam. Oh, so basically you, you knew the that. Real thing. But so, so you knew that your situations in the past no, weren't serious. No, I never knew that. Talking through both sides of your mouth, I caught you. You never catch me, man. I think we should have a drink to that. We should have a drink. I caught should... him in that. You, yeah. didn't, you didn't catch me, boy. Cheers. You didn't catch hey. me. I wasn't hiding. Mm. But at the same time, it's just, all right, me personally, it's I just nice. feel like I never did. Dead ear, mentally. In a my situation, you know, me? But people, stop using this marriage thing against me, all right? This divorce thing. You're not better than me. You had two breakups in one year. You're not better than me. Whoever out there is going to comment and, and try them there's, to come There's me, the word breakup and not. there's the word divorce and there's a reason why they're two different words. And, and they're two it, different it's tiers. Reason, it's, it's a reason why there's, um, uh, what word? Synonyms. Similar in meaning. Yeah, but the mere fact that do your homework on synonyms. I mean, we could pop out Google and read the dick and read the definition right now if we want to. We don't have to do that because mm -hmm. they're definitely two very you different. You know, you have things. nice eyes. Thank you. And what about say that? Yeah, I actually heard a lot. But it's like it just remind me when people say oh, the devil is a pretty. <laughs> That's a good one. You know? Yeah. Cause I don't know why you, why you're trying to come from a character right now. I'm a good man, you know. Of course you are. I, no, I'm a He's good a man. He's a like, good Yo, He's a good man. Yo, know, these people so good. But these women so good. For real. You want to know what, guys? I feel like he puts on. I feel like, you know, with all this aside, I believe that you actually are like a hopeless romantic and you treat your woman right. I do. Yeah. I don't believe you even believe half this toxic shit. No, I do believe because it's not toxic. I don't believe you. I do believe. You need more people. We toxic. don't believe you. Guys, he don't really he don't really mean half the shit he's saying. No, I do mean it. A hundred percent. All right. I okay. do believe it. A hundred percent. No. It's just that My you listen to Whitney Houston nonstop on R and B songs. She's toxic. You're right, a little bit. Have, our, our first number one was saving all my love for you. This nigga had his whole family. Yeah. And she was like, yo, may I build me a one with my yeah. She's toxic. You're right. But when I call, she does because she can't sing, right? <laughs> right? God bless right? the dead. God bless Listen, the dead. I am not toxic. I don't need to stop that narrative. We're not going in 2024. Let's that stop the let's I stop am, the narrative. I'm, I'm not toxic, but I'm, the name of my podcast is Toxic Talk. Because the fans name it that. Do your homework on and the fans. And then you made a whole that. like logo and then you named your podcast that you're like mr toxic i i hate that name and every time i think you've like found your path on like the slow and steady then you say some shit that made me realize like, not nah, but you know what you may just have some toxic tendencies that you like and it's cool you know what i you know what my thing is right now what is your thing whoever you are be true to that if you know within yourself you are toxic through mm -hmm. and through then you're toxic. Well, I'm not to I listen, my no. problem is I have a big heart. All of us. I have and a big heart. And all the toxic niggas say, I have a big heart. Okay. We no, all I do. have a big heart. Okay. I am telling you, I have a big heart. I'm just too lovey, lovey. That's my problem, bro. And people hurt me. 
Um, you get him. You know what I've learned? You see, the people them were always that talk about everybody hurt them and. No, like I mean hurt people victim. too. You know. Okay. My hurt people. Some hurt people. Mm. Is that my hurt myself? You know, believe me. <laughs> Yo. You're so funny. Yeah, love. Yo, my hurt people. I'm ball already. You know, believe me. Yeah. My hurt people. I'm ball like. You see me, you watch now. See, if a girl come around me, even if you have a friend, mm. you're gonna fall in love with me. Mm. And that's just me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's why Usher does sing about don't leave your girl around me. Okay. True player for real. Are you that? I never relate to the player part, but okay. I'm just a good guy. Okay. You understand? Okay. Yo, me have friends when I cut off because I see them and be with them girl away, you know? Okay. My friends when I call and they one, bro. Don't do that shit ever again. Okay. You invite me out mm -hmm. and you bring a girl who is not your girl around me. Mm. Don't do that. This, some... this man said he has standards and principles. What you say, man? I summon thee with my thing. You Remember know, I, I rate that though, because you know, Jamaican culture is really about just endorsing that shit. Yeah, make up one thing, I would. I never listen to the friend. Woman, fuck the friend. I don't care how much he talk about you're his sis and he like you so much. And you want to go look? No. He got the next one number in him phone. And more while, when they link up, that the girl who him have, have a friend too? Yeah. Don't listen to the friend. The best friends are always like the super liars. But that's the same thing with the woman them. Culture go on. We're going to cover the shit, but no, women check women a lot though. No, sir. I don't know about that. Okay. I don't know about that. The only time woman check woman are when the man has some money, man. And she has benefit from the, the, the benefit. So let's say <laughs> me have a girl. Me and you there, right? Mm -hmm. And Carrie are your friend. Mm -hmm. And I must say, yo, what you know? You and Carrie want to see Beyonce. Mm -hmm. See some ticket, yeah? Carrie, I say, yo, you can't, what you do? You can't, mm -hmm. this Jay. That too. We love Jay. But I right. don't have nothing for Carrie. And Carrie not benefit from nothing with me, I do. Bo Carrie not care about boy. me. Boy, boy, boy. <laughs> Carrie find two money, man, and ribbies. And they want blow the boy you now. You don't see the boy, not nothing for you. Eh? If you want to go, a girl quicker, forget your girl, a girl, than forget a tree. So let's talk about it. Do your homework on. Girl is quicker. Honestly. Do your homework. Hold on. Your girl is... Did I say, say, slow it down. Your girl... girl? The girl is quicker mm -hmm. to give your girl another man than to give you a threesome. Because you could have got some woman and say, you know, say, Jay, a good man. Come on, come bless him up in the real way <laughs> and drop a threesome for him, a good youth. You understand? You don't want to be physically involved. Cool, so why you want my woman physically involved with some other man because you want power with him? Well, your friend... No, 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 no. Let me tell you. Your a friend won't convince her friend to do something that she knows that the friend won't do. If your girl on her own is going to give you bun, she's going to give you bun. If she's not the no, kind sir. of girl, no. If she's not, nothing. no. If she's not the kind of girl to give you bun, she's not gonna give you bun. But if she's that type of girl, yeah, her friend will encourage that. No, the friend don't want to be in the midst of the muck. She don't want to get physically involved. Hey, well, but you're right. If she's gonna benefit, she's gonna probably encourage it. But disagree, because influence is a thing. Like right. for instance. Me have a friend right now, he might go through a bag of things. You know, mm -hmm. he not really so familiar with the whole gallus thing and the girl thing. I me mean, I tell him, say, bro, get over the girl that we did used to talk to, bro. Go mm -hmm. fuck some new girl, bro, up your thing, bro. Okay. Born a hot spliff, drink some tequila here, or nice up yourself, you know what I mean? Alrighty. And he's not that type of person. But every day I see him, never tell him the same thing. Until him do it, he will conform, I promise you. Alright. He will conform. I, I wish him the best. You understand? So I saw them girls there too. Them girl and I want to look at money, man. You know what I say, my friend? I'm here, said one of me, David. Him at the right hand to that one day, so you want to get the real friend. I saw them girl that's there, you know, that. That's why I might. I'm not saying it doesn't happen. I'm just saying. My one can't have too much friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't have too much friend. Do know. you have a lot of friends? Me? No, I'm not a friendly friend. I'm not a friend. Okay. friend. I'm not a woman friend. I'm not a woman friend. I'm not a woman friend. I'm talking. A oh, man friend? Yeah, I'm full of, so, I have a so, couple of friends. So do you have a lot of friends or no? Yeah, my couple of friends. So you can have so your your girl can't have a lot of friends because you think of So you don't feel like you're Alright, me and now I'm not the most attractive guy in my friend group. So it kinda different. It hit different with me. Is it me? So she not really So you part bear ugly man is what he's saying. Nah, so so that basically what he's really, saying is that he parts with what one bag No, I mean I try to say I'm an anomaly. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say that I'm that guy. Right. So if anybody forget pick, it would have been me. So Shanafo worry if them would I give me woman, the woman them would I give themselves to me. Wow. Do your homework on women giving themselves to me. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wow. Them is a fight up, is it?
Alrighty. Sometimes we take some time we don't because we can't pick, choose, and refuse. That's all we do. We have options. Oh, wow. Do your homework on options. You understand? You're giving me a whole lot of homework. It's a lot of homework. It's a lot of homework. You can't really give me homework because I am home. You understand? So it's just work. I'm going to have a drink right now. Okay, I'm going with one bag of things. But no, instead of celibacy, something they don't ever do it again, yeah? Yeah, man. Anyways, it's a refresher's course. Yeah, I feel I use up the things, you know. It's a recharge. No, I... Keep the thing. Like, you see me? Yo, I'm not that far. I'm feel like, you see that man? I feel like you're not for, like, full of cum. It's kind of gay when you think about it. Like, think about Yo, it. I was not ready. My like, G, what? As a man, why are you full of cum, bro? How do you know when men are full of... Because you're not having sex and you're, you're not masturbating. So you're not for full of cum. If a man full of cum, that's kind of... It's kind of weird. Like, think about it, right? Like, this yo, now I'm a full of cum because what? Nah, you have to release, man. Listen to me, woman. If you decide to just take a break physically from men in your day-to-day, -day, eat your fruits, eat your vegetables, take your hand, put it by your womb, there to your pom pom, bless it, do your kegels, and just, you know what? manifest that the next time that it will happen or you manifest the way you want it to happen where it's supposed to happen you know do that sometimes it's good to take a break to recharge to refresh to revamp kegels do your kegels don't listen to men like jai don't listen to that he doesn't he doesn't have our bodies you get what i'm saying we receive we're receivers that's why when you decide if you decide that you just want to jump from man to man be careful because you're receiving a whole lot of energy some of it dirty, some of it toxic. Well, I'm a love girl, the full of energy. You man. don't know. So girl, there's times that you need to cleanse, and that cleanse can be a physical or a spiritual thing. And yeah, that's what that is. I'm and I will always up. encourage that. Now, is it cool to be like? Is it fun? I mean, no, guys, it's not fun. So you didn't of it. Oh, so like you know how we spoke about there's certain things we don't talk about on camera. Right. Yeah, that's one of them. Oh, so you did. All right, it's fine. Uh, I mean, it's fine. You, I leave certain things up to the imagination. All right, ladies, may I be real with you? And it's better for myself, I'm gonna know. When girls be like, you know, I haven't had sex in like a year and a half. Turn off. Such a fucking I like active vagina. I like vagina in the field. You understand? Mm. I don't have to know if you had sex last night, you know. But I like active vaginas, you know what I'm saying? Like mm. when I when I wanna, oh yo, I've been sitting on the pussy for like three years. For what? That's negative energy. Would you employ somebody who hasn't been working for three years? You out the groove, things on time change, be a big girl. Clearly, you don't know nothing about. But what? About the about the vagina. Well, that listen, brother, it's a muscle. It it go like this but and it open back up and it no, go like no 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 it's like a bicycle girl to get back on and ride. It's not that deep. This is not take theatrics. It's not like some competitive sport. It is what it is. It's not. My girl look what can go fuck for Jamaica. Put on the blood clot flag and say yo, the girl that name Vagina Jackson. You are so you understand? Wild. Guys, don't give him no more tequila, bro. What yeah. this is called? So, Sherry Jackson run for the country. Like, yeah, fuck for the country. That is absolutely wild. You understand? You mean, you're so wild. When I got active with the road. Because mm. I remember, you know, just like, man, I'm showing you something, fathers. You see, reviews, the world is based off reviews. Word of mouth is the greatest promotion. You ever have sex with uh, um, your girlfriend friend or your ex friend you know why you got a good review in the group chat you got them say the boy can't fucking do him thing and I got to say eh him bad she say yeah him bad three hours him go stamina daddy when him come him still a fuck him bad I got to say eh what you got to say I should go sample that's what happens so now more while you need them reviews there because really and truly, if a man come to you and tell you, say, him not, he hasn't had sex in three years, you're cool with that. You're like, oh my God, he's so pure. Guys, but ask you, for a question, woman, no. rather, Tash, answer my question, this no, please. that nigga you don't want. He is that one. You don't want that, sis. I tell you, you don't active. want that. Let me tell you. You don't want that, sis. Mm -mm. 
By the way, you see how he's, he's very into himself. He don't even need nobody because he is just so very into no, mama, mama, himself. No, mama. Come on. No, no don't say one. that. Don't number say that, Number two, number two, darling. Any, I'm going to say this. When you know what you have, you don't have to even put it on display. You don't have to discuss. You don't have to talk about it. You know what you have. That, if you have that, you know what time oh, it Shanoa, is. Oh, Shanoa, two years ago. That right. So, 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 don't listen to men like him. Don't listen to men like him. You do what you want with your front by all means. But don't make a man draw you out. He's no, trying to girl, test you. Girl, but girl. when was the last time you used your front? No, I'm not going to ask that question. But I feel like the woman that went upon the celibacy journey, them always say it like it's a, it's a medal of honor. Like, you know, I've been celibate for three years. For I mean, years, no, people six. are sharing their stories. I'm good. I'm so good. All right. Go fuck and come back. Go fuck and come back. Imagine a big woman come to me, 27. Oh, I'm a virgin. I am good. Okay. Go and go fuck. Enjoy fuck. Find out what you like, what you don't like, and come back to me. All right? We're not deaf on that. We, we want experience, talent. You understand? Girls, I'm so happy he's telling you what he wants. Yeah, I want experience, talent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's okay. all we need. Cause I'm not care about body count on them something there, you know. Okay, I'm, no, I'm, that's cool. Yeah, I'm not care about body count, but nobody come tell me about. And then why every every girl I meet, them have sex in a three months. Three months is at the standard. <laughs> oh, I haven't had sex in three months. How come? How come? But why do you think that's like a long time? For no, three months are long to me. Men and women are wired differently. No, my woman wired woman. Oh, yo, Missy girl, eat me like pies up. But they're not eating the cocky. Mm -mm. <laughs> Remember, I'm getting married, you know. Guys. If you get married, you have some nights where you don't want to fuck, but you have to fuck. You hear me? I tell you. Mm. What you know about having sex and when sex good, but nobody now nah, moan because we're not vexed with each other, but we don't need, we don't need. You understand? Women have sex way more than man. Okay. All right. Now, watch your go on. Let's say a woman into multiple partners at the same time. A okay. woman can mash up a yard, a man, you know, and every man just for sleep and jack breakfast for the whole of you. Know. Yeah, man, woman crazy. You've lived a life. Me never say me, you know, oh. what I say? Sounds I've like heard. you're speaking from personal I've, I've heard stories. Okay. I've heard stories. I, but I give the ladies them some tips. Because, you know, me never tell you what the woman them want because you're a woman and you have... Most all of, of us have friends. different ones. Cool, but may I say, you can't speak for women in general because you can summarize all your friends and get that one consensus, right? Okay. Ladies, may I teach you the game? When you meet a new man, some things you have to lie about. Stop telling them say your last man treat you bad. Please, mm. lie. Lie. Or just don't overshare. You know what works? Just saying less. But, but for, for, the, for, the, for the most I just lie. Or just don't. You don't have to lie. You just don't have to say all that. Let me get them advice. I'm chiming in because just, I'm a woman. I get, get to do a, that mama, too. Mama get, okay. Get, you're pretty, you know. Get you're pretty. Mm. But sometimes just make a man talk and I want to talk. All right? Okay. Anyways, baby. Just lie. Tell them, say, listen. It's my last man. Crosses. But him take care of me. I never shot or nothing. Honestly, I want him to start back work because... I don't want the money no more, but it doesn't make my work. If my work, it vex with me. Yeah, lie. So the car we have an invite. Because now, what it's going to do, it's going to stimulate our ego. The point is, eh? I get used to money, man. I get used to money. I buy things for your heart. They don't forget to buy her something, you know. But this is when you tell me, say, the lot crosses. I didn't do a fuck, fuck me. I, I started me a road and take girl up. I said, eh, what are you used to much? Why am I going to give you much now? I saw what pre, it might fuck up. But may I be honest with you now? Want my time? So, oh. yeah. So, I just prefer to call you Jai. I just feel like it makes more sense. Like Jai? And J J mm. Frey. That's what you want me to call you? I just call I can't call me JD. JD? Yeah, that's a real name. I like Jai. I'm sorry if I keep calling you that, but I just prefer that. Oh, that's fine. Okay. We're just... That's him? a very dramatic phone. What happened? That's him. You're just out of control, aren't you? I'm just saying. <laughs> that's him, that's him. Um, another advice I want to give the ladies then. Hold on, can I bounce back after what you just said? Woman, let me explain something to you. Don't say too much. My good aunt 
said that women have this whole thing of thinking if you overshare, you'll come across trusting. No, these niggas can't handle the truth more than 90% of the time. So lie. Just say what's enough. You don't have to lie. Just say what's enough. Let him talk. And you should always create that space of mystery. You don't have to be too transparent. They, it sounds like it's cool and all, but it's not. Keep some stuff in the bottom of your belly. Okay? That's oh. all. Pun intended? He knows where those friends are. Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> Why do you like this? I don't know. Mm-hmm. All right, next tip, ladies. So, no, 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 that sort of thing. It's not about how much niggas, you know. Mm-hmm. It's about um, the industry. You can't have fuck five doctors. Wow. Doctors know doctors. You know these people that's doing this? You or you just hypothetically just artists. throwing shit out here? Artists know artists. Okay. You can't fuck five liar. Liar. No. Liar. Switch up the thing. You, you're at the worst. You're going to a room with a girl, you know. Mm. And be a man there for Chrissy. And you know that they know. It's crazy when you out with a nigga and like 20 girls. Not that, that different though. He's just that party. nigga. It's not double standard, but he's that nigga yo. Is he? Of course he is. Mm. And the next thing too, I'm always tell people this. It's about demand. Okay. Both parties got what you know. Let's say a man goes to boom. Mm-hmm. You said they will tash. All right. Right? Mm-hmm. You see if one him find out a J they will tash. Yeah. If him not upset, that mm. kind of rub me the wrong way. Okay, like, so you're you know. I like why you know why when me have. Mm. My life can people bad mind me. Wow. So you, you know what like, I mean? So you like to date the woman that other men want to? Not, not, not necessarily, but me I try to say more when I'm when you're a boy left, a boy I see her as a loss. Of course, absolutely. Me no want a man to Oh, you're gonna touch now. Big up yourself, man, my father. No, I yeah. want a boy text you and say, oh, I come in and you're like, a podcast man, you're like, idiot, girl, me eat you, I'm gonna kill myself. I that mean you wanna see. Me no want when nobody there for our year, girl. You know, in the man. Me no want a man talk about yo, some man, wife, my trash. Me no wife trash. Okay. Goal a goal anywhere in the world. Hey, I like diamond that. Diamond a diamond anywhere in the world. Me no right, see trash and talk about that goal. That doesn't make no sense. Mm-hmm. You ever seen a Saudi Arabian man that? Mm-mm. No, I'm not doing that. Right. You understand? So ladies, when I for really, because you only can't fuck on the world I'm going to be, you know, and come out town and with a clean slate, you know. Mm. But on the key and I fuck though, Moby, Kingston, Ochi, everyone. You know. What he's saying is just use discretion when it comes to your front. Just That's all. Switch up the thing, man. Be strategic. Don't be too loose. Just drop. You know, on all days are foreign. Yeah, for, yeah, for hire a, a one, um, LG HD TV person. And yeah, for yeah, for hire a black person. Yeah, for yes. hire a white diversity. Yeah, yeah. Switch up the thing. You can't. Every artist. Me not, me not I feel like in Jamaica, what makes it a little different is that it's so small. The dating pool is a lot more smaller in Jamaica. Yeah, but I just think it's industry at the same time because, watch out. Mm-hmm. If, if you got, if you got ribbies, you have the girl that have done ribbies. Mm-hmm. You have the girl that have done Mecca. You have the girl that have done Holy Smokes. Mm-hmm. You know, they just work with, for them thing, but switch it up, man. Okay. Go over this, so, go over this, so. Go over around this so. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I said, I, I get, got you. Just do that. You can't just be doing that. But me, my e- I love my ego, you know. Good tell. I don't care what nobody wants about me. Ego is called. Ego make you a man. All right. Yeah. Mm. Straight up. So, when nobody come talk about, oh, yo, yeah, I made the wrong things. And, yo, a woman's past is her past. Cool. But if your past are creeping out of present. Then it's your issue now. I mean, my issue now. All right. I'm not defund up, bro. I'm not defund up. Ladies, I'm not feeling anything better. Our next thing, see a video where you go viral where a man has if your man cheat on you, don't leave him. That's so true. If your man cheat on you. When well, I see girls leave. Oh, we had this discussion, so I'm not doing this. Again. Like, honestly, if a girl leave because a man cheat, that's weak. I ain't gonna hold you. Men don't leave when your woman cheat on you. Hmm? If she even end up have a baby on you, like, don't leave. No, I'm having a baby crazy, man. Mm. I'm having a baby crazy. I'm just saying there's levels to this shit once you open the door. So. Stop telling people to stay in these situations. Me can't say that in the car. I remember I said I true cheated me for out, you know. 
So I get them and say, I should have man. I'm going to take that offensively. Why are you offended by it? Without cheating, I'm not here. Okay, you're an outside child. And I mean, that's a, a child is a blessing, but you're still an outside child. And would you want, do you want that situation? Do you, would, you, would you stay with a woman that had a, a child on you? What that different do? By the way, it can happen. I'm just saying, is that it what you want? It can happen. It happen. How much, how much money have jacket? Jamaica no, no, are the I'm, highest in paternity fraud. No, I'm actually talking about like you decide to stay in knowing. A lot of men did not know. But don't, I may say it again. Yeah. If my one forever breed for me. Yeah. And a baby talented, that's my baby. Oh, okay. What do you mean? If you to have an Mbappe as a stepson, and I got that about you. I don't mind you, you're crazy, man. My, my son, me and him father, they are cool. Okay. Nah, that's not, that's not your kid. <laughs> that's not your kid, my boy. That's okay. my kid. Okay. All right. I pay for those classes. Okay. Uh -huh. So you're deciding you 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 will you would stay with the woman if she had a child on you. You'd work you'd work through it. Would stay with the woman, but the kid is my kid. Okay. Well, I'm not. I'm. I'm never gonna turn my back on talent. It's a generational the, talent. Suppose the people are talented like that. Well, then I'm. I'm out the door. <laughs> Yo, this man right here. It has to be a trade-off. How do I win? How do you know he's talented unless he gets up in age? So now you no, formed a bond with a kid for like five, six years. I go, I go give, we, we know. We know when they're them talented. We know when they're them talented. Yo, him never right. one tonight. Like, I don't know, come get him. Don't give him no more tequila. You, you know I have kids? Of course I want kids. What's stopping you? The husband. Well, obviously, she she barely a fuck, so. Here's that. Just <laughs> crazy to me. So you have a married first? Yes, I'd like to be. Mm, I was married. Twice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two I, times. Yeah. Two. It's two rings. Dos. Mm -hmm. It's two rings. What you look, you want to, what you collecting? Mm -hmm. Ready. I could if I want to, that's all I'm saying. Okay. Could you? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Could you? Of course I could. You don't think I've been proposed? You don't think that men want to marry me? You don't think men of right now? Of Okay, just no. But yeah. why not? Yeah, no. Because I don't, I don't, just, let that hurt I don't more. need a, I don't need a ring to say, oh, I'm a wife. Like, I don't need those things. I need for people to accept this. Even though we're all women, we're wired differently. There's some women in life that need a man. I had a friend who posted the other day. Them not team love them pity like them love man. Them, them don't team love Jesus like them love man. Them just love man. And if that's your thing, rock out, sis. And there's some of us that we find love in other things and a, a, a man and companionship and a family is great and we will wait for the opportune moment. We're not running it down. It doesn't, it's not all of me. So in the meantime, in between time, I'm living my best life, aligned with my purpose. And then when God feels his time, like he thinks I'm ready, he will send my forever person or the person that is supposed to be my life to give me my babies. How about that? Maybe the guy I marry and give God me babies, maybe we don't work. I don't know. God help those who help themselves. I'm helping myself. Are you? Yes. You just was talking about my phone going off. Right? See, uh, them disrespect me, can't take. No, yeah. Why is it disrespectful? Them disrespect me, can't take. But they're good still. Mm -hmm. So you win some, you lose some. But you live to fight another, another day. day. That's all I can say. Right. You know? Mm hmm But I'm anyways, guys, his um for those who want to know, he keeps his place very clean. His bedroom is clean, his sheets are clean. The fan could I take a little dust in still. I show me the AC, that's fine. Yeah, but can't tell. It's from the AC. But you know, your place is nice. Oh, thank you. And uh you really are doing thing. Uh, and you really are catch. Huh? You really are catch. Oh, so you don't really tell me to go to Bangladesh to go watch cricket? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's our Singapore. Okay, go to Australia to see the kangaroos? Of course, anywhere. Okay. Sydney, Melbourne, you name it. All right. I'm going to see if you're right. What is the capital of Australia? I don't know. Okay. What is it? Canberra. Canberra? Spell that for Canberra. me. Canberra. Canberra. C-A-N-B-E-R-R-A. Thank you for teaching me that today. Bro, I like I like, like my bright like my bright fucking. I like men that can teach me something. Yeah, High five. Right. Or yourself, man. One thing about you know, you're gonna talk about yourself. No, my bright, man, no, no. Right. Really like my really like my bright, bright, bright. Like I could believe you. Like I told me the bright at school, but just this top go class come never want outshine people. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Because you got it like that. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just if he's so out of place, I'm just didn't want to be normal. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I'm just saying, I'm just stop the school like this. Three, I'm right. Okay. Can't bear it. Can't teach him more, though. Okay. I know people think that's Sydney, you know. Okay. Or Melbourne, but it's not. I was going to say Melbourne, but I knew it wasn't. Mm-hmm. Okay. Even Nigeria. You know the capital of Nigeria. I don't. See? That's I know the that. Of Nigeria. Abuja. 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 Okay. Nice. I'm, I'm really bright. I teach you one more thing before you go. Okay, going. one more thing. Um, which it, it must say hippo, hippophobic. Which animal am I refer to? Hippophobic. Yeah. A hippopotamus. No horse. Really? He's just scared of horses. Really? Yeah, my bright. No, for real. We don't know. We don't know. Okay, That's, all right, all right, all right. I'm like, for real, like, <laughs> trust me, trust me. Like sometimes we know some things. I'm like, oh. Well, I even know that shit. You know what I'm saying? For real. Mm-hmm. What's the first five books of the Bible? Here one know. When no one say it got Genesis. You see me? But they're called something. It started P. You do, you are. It started right. P. My right there for to go. Okay, right. <laughs> I'm okay, that's I'm gonna remember. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not all. But okay. I don't know all of this. No, song. but that's that's impressive. Come on, no, man. Come all right. On. I really do this. Is it me? So okay. I have a choice right now. What's the what's the capital of Ethiopia? Cairo. It's not? No. It's not Cairo? Cairo? It's Egypt. Oh, Ethiopia. Don't tell me. Addis Ababa. Okay. Come. Let's okay. stop right now. No, I like this though. Let's keep going. <laughs> Why are we stopping? All right. You know what, guys? This is educational too. He Education. doesn't talk about having sex. You, remember, I've been telling people to do homework. I've been doing my homework as well. So what is the other country that's above Ethiopia? That you know they were going through war for a long time, but they're the same people. Somalia. Nope. Eritrea. Yeah. A. A. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I want to shake your hand. I feel like I feel like you're you're handsome to me now. No. Yeah. Just now. I don't really care for looks in men like mm. that. I'm all right, man. For real, man. I like, but I like men who are. You know what, woman? Oh, let me encourage this too. I know that money to you guys. Is that thing right now? But you really should date men who are actually bright, who are intellectual, that could teach you something. The money that shit gets old, and sometimes it runs out. But if somebody's, if a man is actually smart, like he can make that shit back again. Like you actually need men that can move in different rooms, not just the ones that can, yo, oh, I'm can fuck good or him working this. Or, no, he needs to be able, if it's time, to go into that next space. And you know what? I can say right here. That Mr. Toxic Talk has just doubled down and shown me that he's truly an intellect. And that's very impressive. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And I see you go for me for Rollington Town. Yeah, Rollington Town Primary. And we really want for... Me definitely have a donate to that my money. Yes. But it's been an initiative from me. I got Casey, to be honest. Anytime I go back at a school, eh, mm-hmm. I got drop some money at a school. Eh, because when I left from Portmore, go rally. Some guys, Portmore back in the days, and Causeway was a thing. Mm-hmm. Not too early, not Causeway. Okay. Is either you reach town super early mm-hmm. or super late? So, okay. me have reached super early. I used to hear gunshot at Langston Road, gunshot at GX Road, and these are peers who come to school. And I know there enough people like still living in that environment there right now, and them bright, them talented, them, them, them can play sports, but the infrastructure is just not there. So, it going to be an annual thing every year I donate money. I love that. Money. So yeah, that's, that's all that. I do it right now. And I see that you post it, so I'm really... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm all really believing in the culture and believing in the youth. So I'm actually going to say, like, I'm a philanthropist. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> God. Yo, hey. Yo, hey. let's toast. Come let's on. toast. So I get nah, part right. two toxic talk. Thank you for Isn't having me? me again. Yeah, but we're not done, though. We're not done, though. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, Russian things. So. I'm not Russian. You like, you like to go fast or you like to go slow? I'm all about the pace. Just find the rhythm. Mm. I feel you, I feel you, I feel you. I feel you. But no, man, that's what I'm telling anybody like, say, oh, them have a baby with me is like a scholar naturally, a Zika, we can help with homework and them somebody. And hey. You understand? Mm-hmm. We know, we know nothing about you, for real. Okay. Yeah, man, because we're bright, man, really. Like, I'm going to sit around downtown, they used to call me Barack Obama. I swear to God, I'm not going to Okay. I swear to God, because I said, Tom, I can't talk. And, okay. You know what I mean? I'm outspoken. So, um, when I got out there the other day, the teachers was like, yo, we know something like this, you would have to. Like, it's either politics or you turn a liar, it's a chat. But once you talk, I have to listen. Okay. So, it's just that. So, I'm going to tell you, me, 
the man them have a value on yourself and have a know on yourself. I mean, nobody come tell you about um, you're narcissistic. People don't even know where that word comes from. You know where that word comes from? Mm-mm. You have my education again? Yeah, let's go. So it comes from Greek, what I heard? Mythology. Mythology. Mm-hmm. Yeah. From a, a man named Narcissus. Okay. He see himself in, a, in reflection in the water mm-hmm. and he fell in love with himself. Okay. That's where it comes from. Okay. Do your homework on where narcissistic came from. Like, okay. Niggas don't even know that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. and me and mama just love research. I love anything I'm like. Whether I don't have a colon obsession, mm-hmm. some do more homework on colon. Mm-hmm. Colon come from Germany. That's why there's a mm-hmm. place in Germany named Colon. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, what well, is Right, certain ways, is it? Okay. So you have to, really you have to value that. yourself. You have to value yourself. No, we don't, we love your confidence. No one has ever told you to question that. No, man, I'm telling myself I'm too high, man. To pass too high, no, five would there right? No, I reach six. You know. I don't think that's your hype. I don't think so. Yeah. I just feel like sometimes when you're talking about relationship stuff, you're toxic. But I don't think that's your hype. I'm not toxic. What? What? You're toxic, what man, makes, and it's okay. What makes me toxic? Sometimes you just say some wild outlandish shit, bro. I say you have a, have a box after reply now. Yeah. Tell a good disrespect thing, you know. Look how my day I flex my muscles and I try my best for sure, so I'm diverse and I, other things and it's just not nah, work. You see, sometimes my father, what I almost you try this, you're just not that guy. You know? It's a hard pill to swallow. But some and just ladies you do. Sometimes you do everything for your man. Cook for him, clean for him. You, you, you cook with him, friend him, you cook with him, family, but you're just not that girl. And yes. I'm going to take a drink. Oh. You know? You ever, ever been through that before? What? Like you want a guy and he's just like, he just not pick you. Yeah, man. That hurt. Yeah. So I'm feel right now. You get over it, you find the next guy, you'll be all right. Some of you right now. Yeah. And that I tell my dog, say, yo, get yeah. over it, bro. Tomorrow's a new day. Do you have, your tattoos are very interesting on your... Yeah, I have Jesus. It's a, I don't say Jesus, but I say a white Jesus. But the, Jesus can't white. Because I'm black. <laughs> so, and it, it's an outline, <laughs> so it's a black Jesus. Okay. Yes, but the reason I put on Jesus is not... I'm not really religious, mm-hmm. but the story of Jesus mm-hmm. makes sense. Yes. Other than the magical things that I do, because mm-hmm. really and truly, when they met the woman, Sibak, mm-hmm. the woman probably said, be a matter in her eye, if I'll be honest. I'm just cleaning up the matter of her eye. She probably had pinky eye and the her eye the water. And then, if you, if you read the Quran, Jesus is in the Quran as well. Yes, yeah, he is. And most, most, most. Like, um, there's more of a prophet in the. Yeah, c- cool, but yeah. No, nobody not say, my God. Yeah. My God's son. Right. You know what I mean, I say? So, I just to that, so I just, the story of Jesus just relatable. Not saying I'm Jesus, you know. Mm-hmm. But you do for people and people still this sell you. This is a very out. well done tattoo, by the way. Yeah, yeah, man. A big money spent on a tattoo, yeah, man. Yes, man. The other one kind of really looks so good still. Mm-hmm. But that one, yeah, I'm say, I'm not going back. And I'm telling you, I'm going to start making money. Okay. And for, for the rest of my hand, I'm going to put um, the, the, the portrait of the, name, man, the Last Supper. Okay. I think uh, Da Vinci make it or Angelo, one of them. Okay. You see me? Yeah, so this is like a really just spiritual hand writer. So. Okay. For the other hand, I put your face right there. So. Okay. It's just a muse, you see me? Okay. I mean, I show my picture them who their mother could be. <laughs> you see me? So, you know, so this could be your mother though. Yeah. You got see it. See how you tattoo yourself? Yeah, man, I have a, I have a few. You, you, you tattoo your boyfriend? Eh? No. Say that man, I like you know. No, I'm not tattooing my boyfriend's name. What the girl? What? Yo, I love, love when a man fool fool for me, you know. My God, me not. Me just, me just love when you're just stupid in a love. Love for just dunce. Right. You see me? You just mm-hmm. dunce in a love. That's why I'm like the old R and B them, you know, because it's like Tony Braxton, Tony Braxton says she's not gonna breathe again, you know. Yeah. It's the man that you there now. Them some of them are like the ear. I mean. Yeah, I feel like that is still there. Everybody, nobody, no, nobody not vulnerable again. Everybody, I try to play. Yo, nowadays, you would have talked to a girl and it's like, who not play? Who I got text who first? Or, mm-hmm. all right, it take long for reply. So, let me wait. We had this that. discussion earlier. The dynamics of, re- of relationships have changed so much where both men and women 
are questioning themselves and it. Everyone is low-key scared because it's just crazy out here. I'm not going to blame one gender over the other. I'm talking on both ends. Shit is crazy. So you naturally want to protect yourself. I believe the biggest risk right now is getting involved with somebody. Mm. The biggest risk in your life right now that can fuck up your whole life, that can destroy your day-to-day -day, is getting involved with the wrong person. And there's more wrong people out there than right people. So no, that's why I keep telling people, be careful running into shit right now. This is not, people don't have no regard right now. People don't even care about nothing. They will literally play in your face. Women will play in your face. Men will play in your face. The dog, the puss, the pitney. I'm just saying protect yourself right now. Manas work for nobody. Yeah, man, I'm not going to lie. Toxic relationship nice though, you know. My God. You ever argue and fuck right after? It's My nice when it's nice God. and when that shit is terrible, you want to mm -hmm. gouge out your eye. Oh, that's it, You're though. sick. You're in the fetal, put, like, in at the bed can't move, not even at... Ugh. Oh, that's and I don't look good with weight loss. And one thing with relationship, it will stress me. And I know I, no, I can't have on my healthy weight. No, mm. now my jeans don't fit right. I'm having to buy size zero because I'm no longer a size five. I don't want that. Mm, right can now, stop eat food. Huh? Mom, can stop eat food. When I'm stressed, I'm not eating. Mm. Overall. And the only thing that can stress me to that would be emotional stress. I don't know. I'm good. I'm sorry. I'm good. Honestly, I'm not feeling that mother so I get I can't get stressed to that level still. You just haven't found her yet. No, I'm gonna find her already, man. Yes, man. Okay. I'm gonna go through a divorce for real, you know. Yo, listen to me. You see that? You see that twice somewhere there? Yeah, you're good still. So, what's your name prefer? Never, never married at all? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I thought, man. Honey, you don't have the option. You didn't, you, you didn't, you can't. I'm just saying, if you ask me what I would prefer, ideally, I'd prefer somebody who's never married before. Oh, um, oh so yeah, so that's a red flag for me? Come in married? Twice. How many somebody married for Green Card? That's like a, all right, no, I'm married, serious. That's not really a marriage to me. Oh, What's I, that mean, Swanin? Well, I, I'm never gonna say I got married then. Use the charger, bro. I'm I'm never gonna say I got married then. Cause my marriage gem did, you know what? My marriage gem was full of. I don't know the funny as I say, is it? No, and I and that's fine. I believe. But it's just mar it's just a relationship, though. No. No. We gotta stop putting so much weight to it. It's just a relationship. I feel like people are entitled to put weight on what they want to put weight on because we all value things differently. Mm -hmm. I value marriage, so I'm gonna hold it in super high esteem. So it's not something I'm just okay with just running and jumping in and be like, oh, if it don't work, I'm just gonna get a divorce. Like, that's not my thing. That's not my take. I'm not willing to play with it like that. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Not really. All right. Not really, you know. Cool. Not really that time. Uh... So what about, what about me and you, though? You know, I feel like... Because obviously, you know, I, like, I'm into marriage. And you know that I'm, like, a nice guy. You know? You know, I feel like you could have seen, like, me and you getting, like, you know? Like, it's like a, like a trial. Like, like, that's dating, per se. No, like, one thing with me, like, once I'm involved with somebody, I'm not going to be looking at other prospects like that. Mm. That's where you go wrong again. You're date wrong. Because you should say, if, you, if you're there with somebody now, you know, if you look on the body, but if you're dating, you're dating. Dating has to do with multiple people. And you're not, courting. Not my emotional bandwidth. I don't want to be dating multiple people. I don't, I, don't, I don't have the time for that. I literally don't. I don't even have the attention span for that. I just told you, like, some people put man up here on their list. Cool, rock out. Like, my career. And then a man. And... You know, and even before that could be like my family. I don't know. It's just not the first thing on my mind. So I'm not looking to be dating like four different niggas right now to just be trying to bat. That's a balancing act. I'm not good at. I can't bother. Mm. Well, so, so you see this going somewhere though? Whoever mm -hmm. you're dating? So you start yeah. going like marriage and kids and like a, like a I mean, if it goes there, I'd love that. But I, for my sanity, I no longer attach like these crazy expectations. And I would like for it to, but if it doesn't, I'm also okay with that too. So you didn't feel like you had to waste your time? No. Mm. This is the most comfortable and safest I've felt being involved. I feel like when you kind of grow through some shit and go through some shit, the mere fact that I can't even like somebody right now is a big deal to me because I just wasn't even in the 
place to feel like I could open up again in a certain type of way. So that's a process. That, that's what I'm telling people. Like, be honest with yourself. If you are not in a space where you can just jump into something, pace yourself. Yo, a man could come into a relationship with actual kids and that's baggage, but you can go into a space with your own fucking trauma baggage, bro. Mm -hmm. you can, all of a sudden, you realize a guy liking you. Now you're finding ways to sabotage it. Now you're finding ways to cuss him and you're finding reasons to be vexed and there's nothing. You're just scared, so you're trying to do it first. So he doesn't get one up on you. That's baggage. And then you think you're healed, but you don't know if you're healed or not until the situation presents itself. So now Yo, you in just it, said something. Say that one more time. You may think you're healed from something because time has passed and you write in your journal, send the mirror, do mm -hmm. little affirmations, you watch the podcast, you talk, you big it up with big G O D. You're like, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm healed. You are not healed until that situ that situation presents itself yeah, again. Yourself. And then you see how you react. Yep. Because I'm telling you, I was like, yeah, I'm good now. A white dance sudden, is not you being healed. Exactly. Evasiveness doesn't equal healing or exactly. healed. Exactly. Mm -mm. So you know what I mean? Like, so you have to be honest with yourself. Like, you're saying this guy is coming here with kids and that's his baggage. Okay, but cool. My baggage is the second he started liking me, I'm now finding ways to not pick up your phone call. I'm not going, what is happening here? I have to sit with those emotions and be like, oh, so you scared. Yeah, I'm not ready. I'm not okay. Take your time. This is what you have to do, especially when you've been through some shit. Be honest with yourself and where you are on your journey. That's all yeah, I'm saying. It, it just says something, man. It just says something for real. Like, even me, mm -hmm. I had this issue. When I speak on the issue, in my last relationship, in, in my, in my, with my ex-wife, my last wife. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they don't of them. Mm -hmm. Right? And then, when um, they get in a situation with, with this young lady, but they think so that... They, you know, gone, and it was just uh, me and my ex-wife's problem, and it would have never happen again with. And it happened again, I'm realizing, so, you no, know, you, you, you actually have a problem. It's not just an individual problem with an individual person. It's a problem in general. I'm going to have to really take the time to work for myself and, and get that corrected. So you, you, you're right. Yeah. And Enough time people think to so them, even, even like you being over somebody, like I don't believe you're supposed to be friends with your ex, mm -hmm. but you're supposed to get in you know, the same room. Right. Or even heal the person and say, oh, yeah. my God, I you know, I mean, think about them, what am I doing at the end of the night? Right. I don't have a link up with them, nothing. I'm really over it. But once you, once you avoid them, you're yeah. scared. Yes, as you should. You're afraid. Yes, as you should. So, yeah, you, you, you make a very, 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 very. See, sometimes you talk with sense, you know, when you're ready. When you already have a good thing to say, you know, you do. You do. All right. But for a go, that's why people for no say I'm not toxic. I understand. I am not toxic. Yeah, Brandon, can I find a definition of, of toxic for me, please? Okay. Let's find a definition of toxic because, but I really want to know if I am toxic because I'm not. I'm such a nice guy. I don't believe you're a toxic person. Do you have toxic ways? Sure. And I believe that people literally have to Everyone I feel has a little bit of toxic in them. I've said this. And I stand by that 100,000%. Google says very harmful or unpleasant in a pervasive or insidious way. That's not me. Not me. Harmful? Insidious? We don't. You know what? You know that you could know somebody, but you don't. they're different in a relationship. You could know somebody. They could be so cool as a friend. But them in a relationship is different. I don't know you in a relationship. But so let me go to talk me. to one of the two so to ex-wives. So get to know and me. And they may say he's harmful. So get to know me. Huh? Huh? What happened? Wow. Exactly. Now I played my life, so. <laughs> Mr. Toxic Talk. No, I'm, I'm a nice person. Okay. Honestly, any woman, whatever can say, oh, me do them bad. You do yourself bad, baby girl. I don't know nobody, but if we're being real, I'm such a nice guy, you know what I'm saying? And then, yo, if I do your body parts, bring, bring the bottle to me. Some partners do that too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some people bring out the worst in you. Probably. Yeah. I'm a nice guy, man. Right. Right now, just focus. You know what I'm saying? Love that for you. Just focus. Come on, you know, I have, I have, I have somebody I talk to still. I love that for you. You know? That's the one that I talk to, you know? Mm. And who knows, man? All right. You know, who knows? Wish you the best. You sincerely mean that? Yeah. Because I don't be mean that shit when I tell people. Mm -hmm. Why would I not want the best for you? <laughs> if, you if you like, they'd be like, oh, yeah. Like, wish you the best of everything. Nah, fuck that. 
Fuck that. Move that don't work out. That's a mashup right now. I hate that. You know, it's like, cause more you want a girl, you know, you just, and you, you just know say you and her would have mesh. You know say you would have do right by her. And then sometimes you see she go through some fuckery and be like, that's what she deserved though. You know what I'm saying? Cause I know. Boy, with your top, I don't know, oh, you have two ex wife Huh? Like the way you talk is like you have everything under control. You know everything. I may not understand then, oh, you have two ex wife Because I know my value. I'm never that go. I never dog got tolerate disrespect. Okay. Never dog got tolerate inconsistency. All right. I would just do that's all supposed to I just to understand do. there's always a couple more sides to a story still. So. That's fine. And anybody can say what them want to say. All right. You understand? One thing I can say, there's no ex-wife who never try to come back. All right. I can say that. And I can Big put my pan a black for that. Because I'm gonna say, me take my my fair share made very immature. The first, the first marriage for sure never fucking count at all. Okay. The second one, no fuck criminal. When I time for me for really. Oh no, when I time when me start be the man I'm supposed to be, it did a bit too late. But then it's like, I feel like homegirl did get a get a sense of entitlement towards me. It's like yo. I'm making money now. I'm gonna make some. I'm gonna make some moves now. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna do him thing now. But no, they better against me. Once you're better against me, especially as my woman, there's no coming back. I get that too. You see me? I understand. Sure. That everybody have a time limit, and I want every man out there. Cause Jamaican come and have this thing where they want woman mind them, you know. Mm-hmm. A girl would provide for you and help you for a time. Yes. There will be a time where she does really fed up. She tired. Facts. Because okay, it's not like say the girl that take care of Uno and Uno does Uno Uno out of just man appreciation on the lawyer. Uno not talk to nobody. So Uno still that Uno see him Jamaican man shit. Yeah. So there's gonna come a time where she just say, oh, what may I benefit from this dear lad? Facts. So that the time I did come for she. Mm-hmm. But it come too early, I should wait a little bit more. And then you know what though? My credit are for enough things. Because probably if she never did give up on me, I would believe in myself, I would believe in myself, I would bet for myself, I would bet for myself. No. That happens too. I'm a city reward. So sometimes yeah. I forgive me, I have a shout out to she. Yeah. Because you make my hustle, you find the me when me did know before I got foreign. Because before I got foreign, bro, I had a top hustler. Mm-hmm. Anybody tell you? Uh, me, I, me, I keep party. Me, I sell this. Me, I, me in the streets. Me, I, me, I make things up as a juvenile, 18, 17, 16, you name it. I make a case, you have make shit happen. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to fire and I'm just going to call up. Because yeah. you know, one new you, country. You have to adjust. Yeah, you know, no people. Yeah. Move to Atlanta. I fear her family. I have no blood over this. So I have one and two friends, yes. But yeah. it's me and them that grew up like that. Yeah. And then my friend them so busy and it was fear family. I'm just saying, do my fuckery, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm just talking about pertaining to the ending. Yeah. Of course she didn't want to come back. Because now she has to say, you another girl that got benefit from what? Me, Bill. And she had the only girl, what I can say, a foundation. Yeah. But really put some building blocks and say, Jay, this is that, this is that, this oh, name taxes. No, come on, honest, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But there are some other girls out there now yeah. but feel like say them help deal me. Yeah. I tell people about them down from a broken hungry baby girl now. No. <laughs> Sounds when like you meet me, thrown. when you meet me, I live on the 29th floor. All right. Icon. Do okay. your homework on Icon, bro. Mm-hmm. I drive a 2022 BMW. Okay. And then there was like a small recession. Okay. And everybody feel it. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. You meet me at a fucking patch. Mm-hmm. Ain't nobody meet me on a broken hungry stage. Mm-hmm. Okay. If you know me, Colleen, you know meet me on a broken hungry stage, my father. And a girl from Jamaica can't say that either. You yeah. see what I'm saying? So, all ladies don't need to stop doing that too. And the man them, stop there with woman just because them their own from the start. No. Yeah. Do your homework on was, bro. I'm going to give homework. No, do your homework on was, bro. Yeah. That's Past tense, bro. Uh-huh. That's where? Look, look. Past tense. Over there, bro. Yes. He said in, back there. In the past, bro. Mm-hmm. 
You see me? No, because I really think enough time I'm in there with that girl. Because enough time woman, woman love to talk about them are settled. Man settled enough time though. Man I'm, settled most. My eyes is fucking up right now. Sorry. I need to go blow my nose. All right, what could us? What could us? You, you know have it. You, no, I can't. I'm about to sneeze and mess up. Sorry. All right, so before we go away, one more topic. Where you say one topic? The, J the, J the love triangle. Yeah. Have you ever been in a love triangle? Mm, yeah, I have. It's mm, crazy. I've been in a love triangle too. It wasn't like I mean the. So did you say that you did that fight about man or something like that? Yeah, first of all, I don't do that. No, I've never phys as I would say. I feel like the JPS thing was like a very physical thing. I feel like the situation I had before was just the typical situation of two women involved with like the same man. Mm -hmm. And like just clearly he's the one that's going back and forth and not being honest. But this JPS situation thing was completely out of hand. That woman is friggin' wild. She needs to be arrested. So what happened? Man, what happened? Basically, the man come home early from work mm -hmm. and the woman, his wife, I don't know if it's his wife or his girlfriend, but she, his wife, wife but yeah. she's in their bed with her side man. And him mm. go for go fight the man and him take out him gun and him shoot the JPS man five times in his face. Mm. Same so dead dog him dead like dog, like right there. Just coming home from work and seeing his wife and the next man in the bed. Now you tell me. Honestly, let's just keep this open. Let's just say I'm not into it, I'm not gonna support it, but okay, giving your man bun. But you giving your man bun in a bed? Like where the frig is the morals at? Oh, they have six kids? My six kids together? All right, first No, thing. I didn't know that part of the story. Yeah. First thing, we could say condolences to the family of this JPS man. And rest yeah. in peace to this J JPS J J man. Yeah. Now, as a man, where, obviously, I'm Jamaican, bro. I've dated a woman where I've been a man already. I would never go over a woman house. That's the first thing. Yes. But at the same time, we don't know what this man did that year. We don't if the man moves that's out why I said, or whatever. That's why I said the woman as well needs to be locked up. Because when people are talking about, yo, the man, I'm like, yo, but she's wicked too. Because how dare you bring in, on a half in a bed, how dare you bring in an next man into your man bed? Yeah, that's crazy. How? How do you even allow that to happen? Like, you know the probability. I didn't know that. They, so they had six kids together? Uh, six kids? Nah, yeah, that's, bro. That's wild. She's the bottom of the friggin' barrel. Like, that is just disgusting. That's chronic. But when I say that, me come home, I'm see a man. In yeah. your bed? Yeah. You're gonna, and the man retaliated yeah, man, man, naturally. I gotta be, man, I gotta be, man, I gotta be honest with you. Man, I feel like nobody and make it out alive. Yeah. Including myself. Okay. So I gotta see that, you know? Okay. See now? Yeah? All right. Follow with us. Like yeah. One transition. All right. All right. Now the JPS man lose wicked. Yeah, he did. Wicked him lose, you know. Yeah. But at the same time, go flip it. It can be a case where the JPS man wasn't supposed to be there as well. Because enough time you have them Monday where them and them partner separate and them watch the partner. No, and then that, that, I don't know. I get me nothing about it. I'm not nothing about it. Yeah, but no, he so just, he just literally and, 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 came home early that day. It's not so that this type is, of this, this is in home. Yes, it's his home. That's the ultimate disrespect. I'm sorry, that woman is crying ultimate and she's disgusting. Disrespect. That's not okay. She deserves, like, she deserves. And honestly, I pray for those kids because I can't even believe having to, like, micromanage that kind of story in your mind. But, like, that woman is filth. Literally, I don't care how it sounds. She's disgusting and she's filled, and she gets whatever comes to her, whether it's her, her actual jail time or what happens to her, like karma in her life. She deserves every bit of it. I hope he haunts her. You know, but even if you say anything, it's still mm. an article here, it's still a man work overtime. Work overtime. Overtime for children and, and him wife. And him wife. So much assisting. Nah, that's that's crazy. No, I just want to say she deserves everything coming to her, and I hope him doppy haunts her. Until the day she go to the ground. Well, I must rest in peace to that man. And just want to know over there at the same time. Certain things are not worth it. Yeah. You see me? One understands the emotion is that thing. And being impulsive is that thing as well. But at the same time, everybody losing at this. Especially the kids. Because I know them potential stepfather going to jail. Right? And then he probably have a case too. Because it's probably self-defense. I mean, self-defense, if you're, if you're in the property of the person. I mean... It's, he's allowed to... The man was allowed to fight a man that's in his house who should not be there. But, but, but he was a visitor of, of, of the house because that's his wife. 
guys, if you're using a firearm, if the mom, if the JPS man have a deadly weapon towards him, that means you go to prison. This I don't know many dollar. Is it smart woman are that smart? Okay. Mm -hmm. But one thing we can say is Tosh, thank you for Sorry, you say properly. Mm -hmm. Coming here today. It was a leave me hanging like that. Oh no no, I didn't know. I thought you were yeah. just Oh no, thank, thank you. For you coming thank here you. Today. No, thank you for having me. Yeah, I understand. Uh my advice is yeah, start to have more sex, you know. Try to get married and try to have kids and them over there. Do you um hear? this is what? Huh? Well, hold on, where where did you just drop that in from? I told you I was celibate years ago. Hold on, drop me in like right I'm now. I'm just saying that's gonna have more. Don't 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 ever stop again. Cool. Um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Drink more tequila and just enjoy yourself. You understand? It's so good. You have anything you wanna say before we wrap up? Um, no. Thank you for having me. It was Always. a vibe as usual, and um, you know. I'm probably, I'm probably next time in my bedroom. We can do something else. Who knows? I wouldn't be in your bedroom. I wouldn't be filming anything. Hmm? No, how about you? How, you know, why wouldn't you say the next time I could probably take you out somewhere nice to eat? Is that my place? What do you mean? You know what I mean. But it's toxic talk. Thank you for coming through. Yes, big up yourself. I'm Tasha Alexander. Bye. Bye.